Hi everyone, how's it going? Welcome to this tutorial. My name is Mari Carmen and I will show you how to add and modify labels in QGIS 3.0. So first of all, let's open QGIS 3.0. Here I have my QGIS folder and here it is QGIS desktop 3.0.0. So you just double click on it and it will open. Here we have QGIS 3.0. We are going to use the processing toolbox. If you don't have the processing toolbox, you just go to this menu, processing and toolbox. So now I'm going to add the information. So here we have a raster. I have a heel shaped raster. And I also have some vectors. I have the basin limit, the channel network, and the names. Okay, so here I have my basin layer, which is this one. I have the channel network. The channel network is for all the watershed, and I also have some names. The names are some points in here, and the attribute table has a lot of information, but the information that we're going to use for labeling is going to be type and name. Okay, so now I'm going to change the style of the basin. Go to properties, style, and then here in simple fill, fill color, I'll say transparent fill. Black is okay. Okay, so now we have the names and the channel network in UTM. Uh, we're going to clip the names and the channel network into the shape of the of the basin. So to do that, we're going to use the clip tool. Here in the processing toolbox, I'm going to search for the clip tool. So here in vector overlay, we're going to have clip. And here it is, the window for clip. Input layer will be the larger one, so in this case the channel network, and the clip layer will be the basin limit. I'll go to save file, and this is the channel network UTM for the basin. Okay, so run. Now it's okay. I'm going to close it. And I'll do the same with with the names. So same tool, names, and basin. I'll save it as names UTM basin. Save and run. Okay, so now here we have two temporary files. I'm going to remove them and add the vectors that we just created, which is channel network basin and name spacing. Open, add, close. And I'm going to remove the larger ones. So channel network and names, remove. Okay, so we're going to stay only with the names and the channel network for the basin area. Okay, so now let's go to labeling. We're going to label the names of the of the channel network. In this attribute table, as I showed you before, we have two columns called type and name. And this is the important information for the labels. Okay, so to start labeling, we right click on, on the layer, we go to properties, and here we have the label tab. We are going to click on this, on this option and then show labels for this layer. And we can create only a simple labeling. So if we only wanted to know the names of all the points, we, we select the column name. 
here we have the the headings of all the columns and the column that we need is name we say apply and here we have some labels I'm going to move it so we can see it. But in this case, what if I only wanted to know the names of Barrancas? Then I'll go to Properties and create an expression. Here in Mexico, we have different names for the streams. So maybe a Barranca is smaller than an Arroyo, uh, which is different to a Canal, but all of them are channels. So we have different types of, of channels here. And what if I only wanted to know the Barrancas? I'll go to Properties. Label, Label Width, and then I'll select Expression. So here we are going to have the Expression di Dialog. We're going, we can create some conditions if we want to. So for instance, if I only want to know the, the barrancas, we can see that here in the attribute table, I have type and I have name. In type, I have canal, barranca, lago, arroyo, and other types, but I only want to know barranca. So I need to create a condition that only shows me the type Barrack. I go again, right click, properties, then labels, and then expression. So for this instance, I'm going to use the condition if. If, and I'm going to open this bracket. And then here in name, in if, we have to, to write first the, the condition. So the condition if it is that if type, sometimes here in QGIS 3.0, it has a little problem when you write. So if, then type type is the name of the is the heading of the column type equals barranca then we we write a comma and this is the condition if type equals barranca then if it's true, QGIS is going to write the labels of name. Or else, QGIS will write a space. So here we have this expression. If type equals Barranca, then write the name of the, uh, of the object. Or else, don't write anything, just a blank space. And we'll say OK, and then apply. Well, here we need to write Barranca in capital letters. And apply. Okay, it's very important that you that you write capital letters if in the attribute table it is in capital letters. So here we have the labels for barrancas. Now that we have the barrancas, uh, we can we can play with the format. So if I want to if I want to have them in separate lines, we go to formatting, and here in wrap on character I'll write a blank space and 
here, if you can see, after Barranca, there's a, there's a space. And then I'll apply. So now we have them in two lines. If I want to give them a buffer, we go to this option, buffer, and draw text buffer. We can apply, and here we have buffer. A buffer is, a, is different to a background because if you draw a background, uh, you're going to have a rectangle or you can have a square, circle, or a different shape. So here we have a, a rectangle and if it's only the buffer, we only have the buffer around the words. We can also draw shadow and we can move it, we can move the labels with the placement option. We need to see which ones are better for this case. I'm going to leave it as a round point. And there are some other options here in rendering that you can explore if you need to move your, your labels or if you need a different style. We can also change the, the font. I'm going to use this one. Style regular and size, let's see. Size, I'll change it to eight. Apply. Okay, so now we have the labels for Barrancas, but what if I also wanted to see the Arroyo ones? Then I changed the expression in here. So if type equals Barranca, then I can add Arroyo. I'm going to open another bracket and then write the expression or or and I'll copy this and paste it so now here we have type barranca or type equals arroyo so here we have two types, Arroyo and Barranca, and close it. Okay, so now let's apply it. So now if you can see, we also have the Arroyo names, Arroyo and Barrancas. And I'll say, okay. And that's how we can create expressions for the, for the labels, and that's how we can modify the style of the labels. You can keep modifying the styles until until you find the, the best style for your labels. Okay, well, this is all for this tutorial. If you want to know more about QGIS for water management, check out the online courses of Hatari Labs. Thank you and cheers.